in solo queue uh, when he plays uh, Tapiasu. So, I like it. Add some magic damage. Magic damage. A little bit more power for you. And Impact's really good at pretty much using any edge he can get in the lane. Ah, so they are a bit wary of the full assassin dive squad. They don't mm -hmm. want to let Xiao Wei Xiao or Impact uh, grab an assassin like Fizz and Snowball yeah. on them. Wouldn't be surprised to see this last one in Alistar as well from Impulse, but that'd be a lot of focus for the Mu. Could be something they pick for themselves, but they did ban his Bard. Fizz ban. And Fizz ban as well. I wonder if he'll saying. ban another assassin. Because LeBlanc is a very, very powerful AP assassin as well. Ooh. Okay, so this is actually very common. Impulse, uh, they continually ban Gargus. They banned it yesterday on blue side, which could have been, uh, hey, we don't want you to first pick that. Now, I'm con I've got confirmation. Impulse, uh, Rushes does not want to yeah, play Gargus. They don't want to first pick it. They don't, you know, they're going to ban it on blue side as well. The immediate Alistar pickup, a very big takeaway from Aphromu. Uh, to support that ban that they have with Bard as well. So Ash gets left up for another game as well. We'll keep Kalista, an eye. another first round pick. And Kalista Boom. gets the first round, right. Not gonna be banned, first pick. Liking the power she brings to the lane. Smithy is gonna go with the Sejuani this time. Bring those scrim alts into the stage. <laughs> oh. 35 seconds on the clock for Impulse. Hey now, I gotta get mine. This, I don't have to do anything for the rest so of the season now. COG, <laughs> they said so many times they have confidence in Smithy. He landed, well, they said Jolts and Scrims. They, he's a really strong mechanical player. They keep right. on saying these things. They obviously have the confidence in him to go back to the champion. Absolutely. You had one bad game. It's not that big a deal. It was a pretty okay. It was a pretty big deal, <laughs> but they do have the confidence that uh, he can go back to it. Here we go. We get the Evelyn Kobe, and the Hecarim is going to be in the top lane. We'll see. Should go with the Smite. We saw Gamsu playing the Ignite Hecarim just yesterday, but Impact yeah. probably go for that bomby again and get himself big in the Cinder Hulk. Yeah, I actually prefer Ignite Hecarim against oh. Kalista. Uh, because of the fact that you want to get your, one you want to spike early. You want to have the damage to. You're right. One shot that Kalista, just smash her in the back lane. Don't give her a chance mm -hmm. to deal damage to you. You won't need challenging smite if you kill her immediately. And that's what it's you true. have to do because she life steals and she kites you. We just saw that happening last game as well from Core JJ, down to about 20 HP and kept himself alive on that Kalista. So it definitely is possible. The last two picks to come in for Team Impulse here. They're only seeing four members of CLG, Nar and Thresh being those last two pickups. So a pretty well-rounded team here from Counter-Logic Gaming. Nothing surprising. What can Impulse do? Give them that self with the edge. Maybe the Diana? We saw Xiao Wei Xiao doing a bit of that. Definitely taking their time, that's for sure. LeBlanc actually being left up through very few of the ban phases, so, this being one of them. Yeah, so far, CLG of, uh, well, yeah, they're picking NAR early first pick, and um, no, they had it after. Okay, never mind. So anyway, CLG, mm -hmm. they've got the slower starting jungler. Um, so all of the early moves here, I'm going to be looking at Rush. You can even invade very early with Evelyn as well and harass Sejuani, make her life that much more painful. Ah, there's the sustained damage. They lock it in. Sharima for CLG is going to provide the late game AP damage. Uh, and double lift hopping around should be enough as far as the AD. There is the LeBlanc as well. I mentioned as the other assassin. They banned out Fizz and Yasuo. But basically, the most common thread here for Impulse, Sivir. They could get all move yep. speed and they can rush towards you, blow up a target have great positioning in the team fights, and it's something that Impulse loves to do. Even if they lose one, you'll see them come back and pretty much be in another team fight right after off getting out of the base. Ever since Apollo stopped playing Graves, Sivir's been his most common. Yeah. Back to the champion over and over and over. It's perfect for the team. It's perfect for Hecarim. You like to give him extra damage with the speed. Uh, and it's just their style of zerging people down. Works really well. Fly and Zix Lol to get a quick handshake in. Also getting the Alistar away from Aphromu and still onto Adrian who loves his engages. He's a Leona player. He knows what going in is all about. And the time has come once again to go live. So head over to Twitter and vote on the outcome of this game. If you think Team Impulse are going to win with their impulsive play style, send that hashtag chaos 
in to win. <laughs> or if you think CLG's more methodical approach and more objective-oriented gameplay will carry the day, send that hashtag order in to win. That's right. We'll see what happens here. What do you What do you like, Kobe? Chaos or order? You're a jungler, so you like order in the beginning and then chaos. I so I really do enjoy uh, chaotic games. However, we've okay. I've had so many games this week that have just been about team fighting that um, I would like to see how they deal with you know an objective oriented game. Uh, we because we've already had we've had plenty of blood for the day. Mm -hmm. Let's see how we do uh, with some. Uh, Rotations, as they say. Oh, blood indeed. Well, there'll be a little bit of fear and unexpected by the Eve already. Rush likes to be in the enemy's jungle, and he can do so even more now. Got a little sound off the boomerang from Zion's bar. Good catch on the way back around. Hmm. It looks like they're going to be able to stay safe on this and at least stop Rush from getting an early ward in that would have been towards Raptors. Well, the dual lane successfully got all the way top without being scouted. So even though CLG are going in for deep wards, they're very late deep wards, and, and Impulse have already gotten their dual lane up to the top side. See if they can escape the wrath of double lift and Aphromu on the Callista Thresh combo. Now, that being said, a Sivir Alistar lane is a very, very solid lane. They're, they can be very defensive because Alistar, strong bodyguard, mm -hmm. uh, Sivir with a spell shield. Um, they can repel ganks fairly, fairly well. Um, but just the <laughs> power Hoping of that would Thresh be it. Callista yeah. is extremely intimidating. Looks like we are going to get matched up here. Not going to see Rush. Can't see me. He's going to hatch that thing before it goes away. Look at this ward, baby. So Evelyn, greatest strength, able to bypass wards. One, two, and three, here four. they come. They're going to collapse. Find him on the blue. Oh, boy. Take the, quite a bit of damage. There's going to be some flashes burned here. Two-man pulverize coming in from Adrian. Double lift already over the wall. He should be safe on that side. And there shouldn't be too much chase to come off of here as well. But CLG do not Rush get got the start the they want. Rush got the babies. Yep. Huge play there from Team Impulse. Such a risky, really late invade from CLG to go for the deep wards. They didn't commit to it really early on. Impulse were able to leave a ward behind. Plus, they already had their dual lane up top. Great collapse there from Impulse. They're already reaping the benefits of an Evelyn jungle. Mm -hmm. Because she's invisible, can work around those wards. Great collapse from the team. Impact as well. Really big for the Evelyn play there. She was standing on a ward. Shao Wei Shao taking that early damage Ow. as you would expect from an Azir. Does oh, not make Poe, that Velter good. crushing that yeah. trade. He wants it. Give me that gold, he says. 25. <laughs> Gets it. Siege, min Siege wave here. It looks like he will start to back off a little bit, knowing Xiao Wei Xiao has some minions to hide in this time and a quick distort. And even on the trade, a Q for a soldier, and Xiao, or Pole Belter rather, is winning this. Yeah. Not gonna I saw an uh, interview yesterday mm -hmm. uh, Pole Belter did uh, with Travis about uh, their first day, and he was perturbed about oh. people who didn't buy into the Pole Belter hype and didn't give him credit. Um, <laughs> Since, you know, he hasn't had success in LCS, he is uh, definitely considers himself extremely strong uh, mid lane player still. Mm -hmm. uh, and he definitely has shown it. Great mechanics. Already seeing it early on in lane. Uh, the timing there to interrupt the dash uh, with his own. Grab the shield as well. Come out ahead in trades like that. Those are the small things that give you uh, the power in mid lane, that give you the control. We always look at the after effects mm -hmm. uh, in these games. Oh, yeah, he's got middle control, and they're able to do jungle pressure. He's, but keep, it, he's keeping the lane very safe as well as we keep talking about him, knowing that he can't push up too much. There it is from Adrian, kind of just waiting on it. See how much damage they actually trade through this one, and the focus stays on the move. Very nice from Apollo there. Oh, yeah. Double lift having to stay on the farm rather than trading. Great combo from Adrian right out of the brush. Nice damage trade. Easy mm -hmm. boomerang blade to Ryan over the top. I was just talking about Pole Belter. The Eve is still roaming around, so he can't just keep spitting out soldiers over at Xiao Wei Xiao and push that lane up. Got to be careful as well. More aggression from Adrian, like you said. Very big Leona player, so getting on the Alistar almost means he can go in a little bit more as he gets those Triumphant Roar heals out every so often. Yeah. And Rush already collecting the pink ward tax that comes along mm -hmm. with playing against Evelyn. 
Uh, green wards are fairly useless, so you have to invest heavily Whoa. by pinks early on. Rush already found the first pink ward, killed it, and is able to pull off the invade. Shall we shall, since they were able to shove up that lane. Steal the first blue. Blue stolen away. Five minutes, they'll have the timer. CLG can approximate the timer mm -hmm. uh, and get some more pink wards up later. But as of right now, entire bottom side of the map littered with wards. Uh, Rush has been able to secure impact, a solid lane down bottom mm -hmm. for the Hecarim. Up top, though, not so much. Ooh. Not enough Whoa. wards towards the top side of the map for Impulse. They've been getting aggressive, and Smithy says we can make a play off of this with Aphromoo and Double if They do so. We already one kill over to Double. However, he goes down in the fight, and they're going to give this one over to Smithy. Very nicely done there to trade those over. Yeah, the two for one plus the first blood as well. Mm -hmm. Bonus gold there for... Oh, wait. CLG got the bonus gold. That's why. Indeed. Oh, yeah, both of them. Uh... Back down bottom. Just farming along with Zion. Comfortable with the deep wards that they have. Not too bad. He's found a way to get a few CS lead to that bottom lane. We do or do have to remember that Zion was kind of up here with the team at Blue Buff when it started and Impact was not. So it's kind of been even since Zion got to lane to say. Let's see if we get any pressure from McSmithy down towards the bottom lane as he makes his route down there. They already have vision on him from Xiaowei Zhao and Rush's last excursion into the jungle. They still have a few wards over there, so everything that CLG is going to try to do right now will be difficult. Adrian back to the top lane. Try to prevent another gank here from McSmithy. They already have pink wards out, which is good for them. You see that CLG... Not too many wards until they can get the pinks. This really won't matter. There's an Eve on the map. <laughs> True. Uh, Sight Stone has been completed from Afro, though. Mm -hmm. Around the seven minute mark, when you get that recall, um, it was a forced recall because they died, but <laughs> Afro was able to get up his Sight Stone. Uh, and he's going to go roaming to try and get some wards down. The dive forces a flash. Trying to see what the movement on the mini map is. Nothing too big from either team here. Zion Spartan feels like he can stay in lane, easily jumping out without any hard control, or crowd control coming out of these two champions. See how close Smithy is to that fabled level oh. six. For Shane Shane miss. All right. Emperor's Divide goes out. Does Pobelter have the move on his soldiers to get back into fighting range? Almost oh. hitting Shao Wei Shao. He hits up the elixir and he stays alive because he chugged it just the last second. A little bit of help coming in as well from Rush. Pulls off on the fight. Yeah, 1v2 there. Pobelter bends off the attackers. Almost grabs the kill there on the Shao But Ooh. he's running barrier, not ignite. Yeah. Oh, oh, Rush looking for a little sneaky kill here. And stop. Got him. Agony's embrace. Pobelter flashes up, but he has nowhere to flash. Great move there by it. Rush to take so, that out. Yeah, and the re oh, well, he's gonna run into Smithy here. See how this turns out first. Get the permafrost down. W. Adrian. Oh. Side. Fates call's been brought in. Fates call is out. If Smithy could get out here, it hits double lift with the pulverize and the headbutt going in. They cannot get the kill onto if Smithy with a sliver of health here, and it looks like Apollo and Adrian may go down. Turn around here from Xiao Wei Zhao. Another teleport actually coming in from Zion Spartan. Impact. Actually, Zion's was seemed to be stopped in that situation, or he just went farther behind. Impact was already started, is what it was, and Zion Spartan could actually not offer up any help. Does he decide to jump in and get out of this one? No, he does not. He's set back by Apollo in that situation. What chaos, Kobe? I think chaos is going to be taken over in this one so far. You can hear the chants. The game pace going in TIP's favor. Now, all started out with Rush, by the way, the reason he was, uh, oh, let's take a look here. Never mind. We'll skip ahead to when he walks into Smith. Yeah. Saves the W for all of the slows for Sejuani, then uses it to dodge the ultimate. As soon as you see that, you know Smith is going to hear about that one. He does escape, though. Gets out. Well, he must have had, like, single-digit HP Absolutely. there after Shao Shao's auto attack. He gets out, though he's going to circle around and come back because the teleports do come in. Shao Shao walks right through the box, gaining his invisibility. Uh, 
Gains health off of the heal from Apollo as well. And Impact runs straight past Afro Moon because he's dead. In for the kill on Double Lift. And Smithy tries to lock him up, but without the ultimate, you can't lock him up under the turret. Yeah. And Smithy just ends up going down as well after escaping so narrowly. CLG give back quite a lot of gold to Impulse as they play to the beat of their drum. That's right. Like nobody can figure out whether they want Chaos or Order to win. Just a few to the side of Order right now. It worked in the early game, but Chaos is starting to prevail. With alt against the wall, they're just going to really do a wet noodle fight for the majority of this one back and forth as they scratch each other's back. No kill to come out of the top lane without any jungler intervention, I don't think, coming in this game. You see Blue going over to Pole Belter in the mid lane. He's finally able to get one of those for himself, so can hopefully start pushing Xiao Wei Xiao back get himself to assist some of these other lanes. Yeah, now he's got to really start worrying about the combos from Xiao Wei Xiao. Mm -hmm. uh, LeBlanc at this point, post level six. Uh, as you can see, Pogata really respecting it uh, from Xiao Wei Xiao, yeah. especially with that blue buff. Going to be able to pull off combos really quickly. Low cooldown ultimate from Xiao Wei Xiao. He's going to be able to use that for harass over and over. You whittle him down until he gets to the kill point. But junglers are bottom right now, so... Making sure they're safe. Seeing that ward placement makes Adrian question what the environment around them is about. So he just goes, make sure they don't have any trouble. Also giving Rush a little bit of help if he got caught there towards Scuttle. So a lot of teamwork here by Impulse. Yeah, and uh, you can see the effects of Evelyn just being in the game. All the lanes, well, except for top lane, playing very defensively. Rush looking for the invade. He's just going to chunk Smithy here. See if he can get some damage done. Got the better of the trade. But uh, just Evelyn being on the map. Evelyn's whole point is early on, build very offensively. Mm -hmm. You're all about skirmish. You're about high impact short plays using your invisibility. Here comes the dive. Adrian should be the point man with the ultimate. Oh, double lift couldn't get over to the lantern in time. And it was Xiao Wei Xiao that pushed Pole Belter into the mid lane first with the distortions and then headed to the bot lane. Good move by Impulse. Pole Belter back to mid as it resets with the siege wave and should be able to get Dragon and make it back before they miss too much on the side of Impulse. Yeah. We, are, we always talk about, you know, compositions that, you know, like to control the neutral objectives. Mm -hmm. Pretty much just Team Impulse loves those type of compositions, so they, as a team, <laughs> like to do that as well. So early Dragon, always big for Team Impulse. They usually run these short-range uh, compositions, a lot of silver uh, speed boosts so that they can take advantage of teams uh, if they do come out in yeah. the open field. See if we can get an answer here from CLG. They already know they've been spotted out, but losing Dragon, losing bot lane, kind of just want to get something else here out of Impulse's jungle. Looks like it's only going to be Stop. some camps for now. Impact has already made the move to get himself to safety. Deny as many CS as he can. Yep. The minion wave will group up on that last minion. Oh, he's coming back to push one more. Probably has to purchase. Oh, speaking of purchasing, the other thing that I, I dropped off after uh, the rush play. Do tell. When he was waiting there as Povelter was recalling, the reason you wait until the very last second oh. is because you're preying on them being already in the item shop. <laughs> and if they're not paying attention, if you wait till the very last second, uh, then sometimes they won't react. It just makes it a bit easier to pick up those kills. Catch him window. Even though he saw no mana on Povelter, he knew he had no summoner spells, and he's Evelyn, so he's got a speed boost. Still, wait until the very last second just to make it a bit easier and make sure he gets that kill. It also feels terrible when you die that way. <laughs> Staring at the shop already? Yeah. <laughs> Staring at the shop, not knowing, and your team's yelling at you, hey, and I, you die. I don't know if anybody just stares at their champion for a full duration of, the, of a recall all the time. Some people don't stare at their champion when they're walking across the map. This is when we get pink wards walked over <laughs> all the time. True. Many times that you avert your eyes and they need to be right in the center of the screen. Six to four, so far Impulse has been able to find everything that they wanted, at least in this early game, to not fall behind. CLG was also able to pick up a few kills, but nobody with a real definitive, definitive lead. I'm sure the Dragon can still be challenged by CLG as it comes up for the second time here. We'll see what Impulse can do with Rush. He's been in the face of Vic Smithy a few times. Oh, Zion. Back and forth in this lane. It seems like Zion in mini form here getting the hyper shots is able to do a bit more damage than going into Nar form. And he doesn't even have to to get that one. Solo kill for Zion onto impact. 
you do not see that happen often. Solo kill on impact. Black Cleaver was just completed First. for Zion, so that is yeah. the new Black Cleaver stacking up the shred the entire mm -hmm. duration of the fight. Um, now, the pink ward drop can't be 100% sure if it was a misclick or if he was checking that Evelyn was already there. If you drop it on yourself, it's probably a misclick because she'll show herself in that range anyway. Um, so it's a little bit unfortunate that Zion does lose his pink ward there. Um, but mm, there is a small chance that he was dropping it to cover you know, his retreat right. and would see Evelyn if she was coming from behind him. So, distribute blue over to Sha Wei Sha, 139 to 130 in the mid lane. Quite even. Actually, across the lanes, really, our biggest deficit comes between Apollo and Double Lift from those few kills in the early part of the game. Double Lift died three times, but he's also found himself three kills on top of that. You know, and he'd get big. The BF Sword looks like it could be switched into that Bloodthirster, and his Hurricane is already on the way. Yeah, CLG, they would love. Uh according to our hashtags, to find a battle where they can actually set up beforehand, mm -hmm. charge the Rage Bar for Nar, uh, and pull off either a teleport or even just set up as five to get a team fight where they can set up uh, those battle lines and have a solid front line uh, with Azir at the back being able to use his ultimate mm -hmm. to have another form of peel for double lift and not allow Impulse to get a flank. Impulse. They're all about that home guard teleport, the, e the Evelyn flank, uh, and the speed boost from Sivir to try and split up CLG and pick them off. Um, CLG, as long as they stay disciplined, even though they are behind, the 5 uses is 5, they would have a... Ooh, rush taking half there. Death Sentence does not connect, but both teams having a bit of the same idea as they make their way to the top lane. Looking to at least drop that turret and start to open up the map. We saw CL, or rather Impulse, already trade that over. They've taken down bottom turret quite quickly, and they're trying to get a next one down here. Not finding anything as CLG is just playing that safe game all across the map right now. Okay. Shower Show not really uh, able to bring kill pressure yeah. to Poe Belter, who is playing very safe. He's playing, you know, halfway back in the lane. Anytime Shower Show goes aggressive, he respects the Evelyn. Poe yeah. Belter pulls back off, doesn't take any chances. Something you have to do. Paul Welter knows it could go very bad. Have one kill go over to Shao Wei, Shao Rush, and they keep repeating that. He has been able to fend for himself quite well. We already saw that 1v1 in the mid lane have to have some jungler intervention before they took each other Ooh. down. The flash for Shao Wei, Shao. Shouldn't put him off too much with the double distortion. Yeah. And as the game goes longer and longer, and we start seeing more grouping, we start seeing more uh, vision, yep. which CLG can use to control the pace of the game. Evelyn does really fall off. Yes, she is amazing in the early game. She brings so much uh, of a surprise factor to your yeah. team. However, she does fall off later, especially against this squad, the CLG squad. Uh, being a melee champion without uh, a true gap closer is going to be very difficult for him. He'll have to use his W very wisely. Um, and transition into a tank build as well. Looks like he's already transitioning towards tank items uh, in preparation. Mm -hmm. Both teleports up for these top laners right now. His dragon is up. Looks like the ward's really being placed heavily here by CLG. It's something they want to get out of it, and that's quite big as well. That's going to be down for dragon. The teleport is still there, so he can home guard in still, I guess. <laughs> Won't have as much of an impact if yeah. it will. Definitely not. Big ultimate down. This is the moment of truth here. No Hecram ultimate. Is that enough? It looks like it is. Yeah. Now, the steal possibility is not there. So if Impulse go for this, it's 100% trying to kill the team. Because a rend plus a jungler there. Good luck. It, yeah, it's, if that gets stolen from you, it's a miracle. Um, and it just has to do with a small timing window between Ren's activation and the smite. So with that back and forth in the top lane, CLG keep their turret, rotate double lift and Aphromo down, able to grab that dragon. Looks like they'll be losing that one quite soon as Impulse focuses everything towards the top side here. And double lift's just going to farm out the bottom. So they're kind of getting what they want, the scraps of the outer part here as we enter into the mid game and start breaking out of the laning phase. CLG actually looks like 
They're going to get enough of a defense to stop top from going down as well. So good movement after the dragon. Mm -hmm. Keeping solid. The order is coming to be here. It looks like that might actually take down impact as he goes a little too hard for this top turret without the wards there. He oh. just used his ult to get out of a situation like this. Does not have a flash because he's running that smite in the top lane. Rush comes up here as well. Great pressure from Adrian and the team. Zion Spartan throws everybody and plaques them up against the wall as a trophy. They're only able to come away with two. Adrian peels himself off and gets back down. This is... Oh! oh Pobelter! That wasn't even the shield. It just was not yeah. in range. He flashed forward for it. They still are going to get Adrian for their troubles with another death sentence coming in from Afro Moo. And CLG's order picks up a few more. Yep, definitely prevailing there. And Zion is a monster. This guy is crushing the game. He picks up a solo kill on impact. He's quick to the rotation. He's there to back him up. Zion's going to take over this game uh, if it continues as is. So far, a uh, strong MVP performance for him this time around. Yesterday we had Quas. This Today we have Zion. Good NAR play uh, on the first week of the LCS in North America. It really is. A big change for just about everybody that's bringing out the NAR now. 301 for Zion Spartan in that top lane, starting with the Black Cleaver. He's given a lot of trouble over to Impact throughout this game, and CLG working off again. That ultimate being down, knowing they have the upper hand. Yep, so Smithy takes the lantern out. Zion says, we're not done here. <laughs> Nar into the wall, three men, they're able to get the AOE, and even though more members of Impulse collapse to the fight, because they're able to grab the two kills first, big win there for CLG. Afro also, by the way, followed it up. He grabbed the extra kill mm -hmm. onto uh, Adrian with his flash hook, snagging another one for the CLG squad. Not doing too bad, participating in seven of the eight kills so far for CLG. It's kind of how Aphromoo played it for them in the beginning of the season, being the one to always be there for the rotations of his team or the other team. And CLG is able to capitalize now on these lane swaps back and forth, but still finding the kills in the lane once they get there, not through the yeah. transition. Once you have, especially Zion, the one getting fed, once you have this really strong front line, uh-oh. Whoops. Uh -oh. Whoops. <laughs> Open your eyes. Closed eyes engaged from CLG, it seems. No, they just missed quite a few. Great dodges by Impulse as well, but you can only dodge so much. Impact getting hit up here, trying to get Spear to the Dragon. Oh. Heal him back up even more. Hits the consumable, but he still goes down as Apollo's trying to hit the DPS from the outside. Pole Belter is going to drop Adrian and Zion Spartan here on the heels of Apollo. It's going to drop him down. No, misses the Nar ult, but Xiao Wei Xiao missed the chain. So they have a little bit more time to run around. He's able to pull janitor duty and take down both both Scion Spartan and Nick Smithy at the end of that uh, fight. The only one alive for his team. Pobelter? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty low somehow yeah, as well. A little low. Probably was fighting off screen with Xiao Wei Xiao, trying right. to get there. He was busting uh, up. Xiao Wei Xiao was probably yeah, blocking him from getting in. Mm -hmm. uh, but wow, yeah, what a close fight. Uh, swings back our chaos meter. Swings back a little <laughs> bit the other way here. Impulse scrapping together some kills. Uh, but CLG coming out. <laughs> Decently in it as well. Not too bad of a bout for them. Yeah. It's a little scary, but they were able to reorganize a little too far away from the turret once it started. Had these first initiations hit, CLG could have come away quite clean here. Right. All right. So here's the initiation. Face call used early. Rush flashes it, actually. Mm -hmm. Gets back right. in there. Rend resets. Impact does get a decent ultimate there. Nice ulti from uh, Smithy. Hits that one point blank onto Apollo. Basically, it's just straight up two versus uh, two. Smithy does escape at this point narrowly, but once again, he escapes narrowly with his life and only comes back yep. into die later at the end here. So he comes back, he wants to secure a kill, but he's 100% going to die for that anyway, and it looked like, I guess, Double have got the credit for that kill, um, but Zion probably had it locked up. I think that Smithy... Um, from now on, once he makes these great escapes initially from the fight right. with like single digit HP, uh, you know, should count his blessings and uh, go home. <laughs> Just gotta get close enough to get permafrost on again, then he can help. Usually that means death. Though. You can tell he's got the mentality of one kill for my life is worth it. Mm -hmm. He's got that uh, hashtag worth jungle life. 
Sometimes it works. Yeah, so far, both times, not so much. Not so much indeed. The gold still quite close though. About a thousand separates these two teams, so nothing really to catapult anybody into the lead too much. That Luden's Echo finished up on Xiao Wei Xiao, however, could do a bit more than CLG is expecting coming into these fights. Maybe not to Poe Belter. He has gotten the Abyssal Scepter on himself. That will really help soldiers do more damage around the fight as well, because these are going to be grouped up and quite long with the tanks we got going with Hecarim and Alistar against a Nar and a Sejuani. Still a little bit before we probably get these 5v5s. A lot of this split lane going on between Zion and Impact for the majority of the game. Turret. Mid's being pushed by CLG right now, and they may be able to get some good damage down. It looks like Impact actually is going to have to react to this. Yeah, they're trying to keep up the pressure mm -hmm. um, on two fronts here. Using the Azir Tower to buy more time for Zion, yep. who does have a decent lead. 3-1-3. Three, three. Teleports up for Zion. He's heading back for now. See if he decides to keep going with that. He gets himself a Randuins and a few more wards. Doublelift has a good, good wave to just be clearing out the bottom and get way big once he gets this all cleaned up. Yeah. I mean, think about who's going to be able to kill Doublelift. Unless yeah. they do get the flank, impulse options are really running out. So they should spend this time right now to try and set up for that flank. Get the Hel uh, Hecarim teleport home guard uh, combined with the Evelyn. And hope and their aim is to try and split up CLG so that Xiaoi Xiao can find an opening on a squishy target. This one not too squishy, but they get him anyway. Take him down in his PJs. No ah. chance to get home. He actually doesn't have any magic resist before going back and buying the uh, cowl. Cowl. So at that point, fairly squishy to Xiaoi Xiao at least, since uh, Zion was building for his one versus one with the impact. Whee! Nice. Oh, it's not going to matter. He's way faster. They're going to get it down. Oh, no, it does matter. The dark passage to the light. What a savior. Oh, knocked all the way back. Impact not getting the situation he wanted from start to finish. Uh, Sharima drift. <laughs> and we got the tower shove here. And it's going to cost them an inhibitor turret, though. So even though Pobelter escapes with his life, they get the kill on Impact. Impulse, they gain an inhibitor turret. All right, so this is a NAR coming in. Not on home guard, but he is the wall between Impulse leaving. A tiny wall at that. They might be able to jump over him. Ah! Oh, <laughs> trying what? to get through. Bounces. Actually not activated all the way through. Uh, hey. You're going right. to see these Boom guys right for the top lane. Xiao trying to figure out if he can get enough damage onto Zion Spartan. He's going to take it fully. Zion, Nars out, and Nars minions into the wall. Fight now onto Apollo. The focus going back onto Adrian and Xiao Xiao. Smithy may be biting off more than he can chew, but it seems like Xiao Xiao has actually walked away from the fight, knowing they don't have enough without impact being there and no teleport to come in. Still going to have to keep moving. Should be able to get out easy, but CLG. Gain a bit more in this game. 16 now to 11, and they finally get about a 1.5 thousand gold lead. You know, not, the inhibitor... Not much more, actually. I thought it would be bigger. Yeah. The uh, the inhibitor turret, usually that's a huge, crucial point. Um, but if COG can continue this control, mm -hmm. then it won't really matter very much. Impulse are not going to group up as five and push that top anyway. So if COG can dictate uh, the pace here for the mid game, then sacrificing that inhibitor turret for those four mid-game kills might very well be worth it here. Let's take a look at this. They corral Impulse against the wall, and everybody immediately uses everything they have to jump on double him. Yeah. If you don't take him out early, then the sustain is going to wreck you. But Everybody focuses on double lift. They find themselves in the middle of the CLG squad. Zion Spartan collapses. Poe Belter comes up. And they're able to clean up the kills. So four kills there for CLG in fairly quick succession. Uh, in exchange for that inhibitor turret push from Team Impulse. See if they can actually create enough pressure to make that matter. Yep. Bottom wave pinged out by CLG. Says double lift. Go clean this up. We know you want to. Xiao Xiao looking to get a bit of poke pressure down as much as he can. That blue buff is on, so why not? Also have his Void Staff finished up. Maybe that Rabadons will be coming in next for him. Hit the AD carries. Looking at everybody right now on some item spikes. It's pretty normal. Nobody too far ahead in this game. AD carries are sitting on their Bloodthirster at Hurricane Last Whisper. And Infinity Edge Yomu's Last Whisper. So they're doing the damage necessary. 
I don't know if they're going to get the fights they want, though. Doublelift was taken out immediately in that fight, and then Apollo, so they are going to have to be very careful in this next engage. 122 on Dragon. It's going to be number four of the game. All right, they're so grouping up. Setup. CLG trying to create the order. They've got the turret in addition to the front line yeah. ready. This should be a strong tower push from them. They have everything available to them. Pink ward behind them to see if there's a very close ward for the home guard teleport to come in. There is not, so they just keep their backs to the wall. Try, really? Try and get some of those uh, Azir soldiers spawned on the turret. Get a chunk out of it. Really great. They just picked out Rush as well over at the wolf camp. May not know where he is now, coming from that right side. Seen by Aphromoo, the call has been made. You see the team back up so they don't get hit by Agony's Embrace or a big Pulverize. Really well communicated, but Impact oh. gets that Pulver, or gets the, the control of the team that he wants. They are all piled in is what I was looking for. And they don't come out with what they want. Double kill for double lift. And they just cannot get past that second Azir turret. Still sticking together in the death ball. CLG not allowing their members to go down. The perfect strategy against Team Impulse. CLG set up a fort yep. right outside of the base and go with the siege. They just surprise wait it until they Impulse. want to take it. Wow. As I was saying, I'm surprised. Afro ladies and gentlemen. Afro -Moo. Impact even wanted to take that with his ultimate. While it still looked picture perfect, they were still fighting under a turret. Confused me enough that I couldn't even find the word pile. <laughs> Here we go. Once again, piling in oh, on the Baron pit. Apollo looking at Pole Belter. Now Zion Spartan's all over him, trying to get somebody to go down, but Impact can't helicopter around enough and get the DPS out. CLG bleeding health bars across the board, and they're still able to somewhat fend off and get themselves out of Baron safely. Scary, scary stuff in the chaos, but they're able to keep it clean. Yeah. I really want to see what would happen if Apollo had committed to that fight 100%. I'm so curious if he, they would have been able to pull out that 2v5. Yeah. He must have already had Boomerang Blade and the Bouncing Blades on cooldown. Because um, if he had not, I think he yeah. probably could have picked up a multi-kill. Um, but they were probably on cooldown and he didn't have much more burst left. All right, Impulse picking up these dragons. Quite necessary. Get to Aspect at this point and really be able to put something strong down the lanes towards Counter Logic Gaming. Yeah, because Apollo made the uh, safer choice, cooler heads prevail, he is able to pick up a turret for his team and dragon for his team. So those are the bonuses of not taking the huge risk of trying to all in that two versus five. Also, we see Rush now building up the Glacial Shroud. He'll be kind of, what's that point where he really is going to start falling off? Excuse me, who? For Evelyn. Oh yeah, Evelyn's already uh, started to fall off. But the way that Rush builds it, it's not bad. R Rush is still always relevant in this game. He doesn't fall off hard. He brings two auras to his team. He stacks up, even though he overbuilds right. on cooldown reduction, that is the most valuable stat for Evelyn. Uh, so he's got double auras with the Frozen Heart plus the Magic Resist aura. So he brings a whole bunch of utility to his team. Plus he's got the Sideswipe, he comes in for the flank. So it's not, a, it's not like he gets terribly outscaled. Zwani ultimates are going to be big, though. Boards for Counter Logic Gaming. Not really peeking him out just yet. Again, Impulse forced to walk away from this one if CLG even starts to approach the fight here. They want to get it on their terms. Yeah. Impulse debate. has to get the edge in this fight. CLG will definitely be on some inhibitor turrets after this unless they just go for Baron and back. Before that, they don't exactly have the waves to push fully throughout this fight. And that's what Impulse is banking on right now, is that we don't have waves knocking on our front door. This could be the point to make the chaos happen. Quickly just taking out a few. Everybody, hold your breath. Yeah. CLG easily going to peel off this and take a full fight. Xiao Wei Xiao distorts away as they play it safe. And Impulse will probably be happy peeling away CLG so they don't get the Baron if they waste time here. So because they sent Impact to prune the wave bottom, mm. they've relieved the pressure down bottom, but uh, Impulse is going to have to scatter. They lose the Alistar ultimate. It's going to be fairly big True. for them. Uh, CLG returned just to the siege. Looks like uh, Impact is going to get a pretty good push on the bottom lane, but it will cost them this turret. Push 
Pushing forward once more. One more second tier turret for CLG to knock down here. Another methodical game after the early game for them, just as they played it yesterday. Keeping it calm, cool, and collected once they do get a lead. Not pressuring themselves in anything too dangerous. Yeah, and another spot for them to set up an outpost, to raise the Azir turret uh, and siege up. Yeah. They return to the uh, Baron because they've been able to clean it. And it's up to Impulse. Here comes the teleport. Impact is arriving. Well, they get Adrian, so he can't lock it down. That's the smite going over to CLG. They get Baron, and the fight goes in. Adrian gets a full pop up on the team. Apollo's not able to fight in there, though. An ult from Pole Belter kept everybody out of the pit. Big Smithy follows through. He hits the Glacial Prison, and now they're on to the rest of the team. Impulse with Shawe Shawe, a sliver of health just towards the top side of the map. Everything was played perfectly by CLG there. Yep, could very well be game-winning push now. They've got Baron buff, minion wave in place already, and they have Azir. Just about biding that time. They were hanging out at Baron a few minutes ago. Now they have the minion wave after hanging out at Baron. And like you said, Kobe, it could very well be game with about 30 seconds on two members of Team Impulse here. And the ones that are coming up aren't going to be able to make too much of a difference. The first Nexus turret looking to go down as Xiaowei Xiao tries to deter CLG from putting more damage on it. 10 seconds. Ooh. Be close. They are going to be forced to back off once more, but not for long. They'll be back soon. Order. Riv. Order. Order indeed. Who went back? Somebody... No, it didn't fully complete. All right, so they have Baron empowered recalls. They should be able to escape really easily. Four seconds. There goes. He snagged one person. Oh, he's got two. You guys are gonna get each other killed now. He's got an ultimate ready. Oh man, not exactly what they were expecting to happen after taking a Nexus turret. All right, chaos. Nobody <laughs> should get caught, and chaos prevails for a quick second here. It's not gonna hurt CLG too much, but they won't be able to come out of base with a full five Baron. I was gonna say maybe a three Baron if Zion Spartan went down, but they do save his life, or he saves his life, I should say. Four Baron buffs still on CLG, yeah. only so the support went down, not the end of the world, uh, with the uncoordinated Baron recalls there. They'll take that hit, no problem. Set up the Dragon, one minute away. Does buy more time for Team Impulse, though, mm -hmm. to look for picks. They need to work with Fog of War. They've got a strong LeBlanc. Xiaowei Xiao has plenty of firepower. Yep. If he can find somebody uh, you know, out of position from a bush, he can pull off a surprise kill. Not on Zion Barn, he's got a Banshee's. <laughs> but on somebody else, the possibility is there. Rush is gonna be searching around for that pocket uh, to pull off the play on Evelyn. You also have to be careful in the late game as Evelyn not to face check too many brush, not to be too overconfident with your uh, safety of your right. permanent invisibility because this is the stage in the game where people just leave pink wards flying around in random brush. <laughs> and if you walk too close to one, uh, then CLG can make you pay for it. Right now though, grouping right back up, raise the Azir turret, go to siege work, see if they can get something done with Poe Belter popping soldiers on the turret. Yes, they can. Woo. No contest there. Like you said, putting soldiers down on the turret. Quite a bit of burst damage to them. Adrian already with the ultimate on something the team needs to defend the base. And now they are worse off without it. Inhibitor is going to start taking some shots. You see Xmithy trying to put the front wall of beef there so nobody can get by him. He's got level 16 alt, so he's good on that. Rush is actually still level 15, so he's not bringing alt level 3 to this fight. And CLG is across the board. We're going to see what happens. Oh. Xmithy may not be able to get a good alt off in this one. It looks like Impulse breaks it right away. Xiaowei Xiao still on the bottom side. Does a bit of in and out damage. But it is Pole Belter and the rest of the team along with Doublelift cleaning up these kills one after the other. Apollo threaded one in there for the team, but it's not enough. Three members of CLG stand tall. They take down the Nexus turret. And at 39 minutes, Counter Logic Gaming walk away from week one. 2-0 as CLG takes down Team Impulse. <laughs> Very soft hugs. <laughs> that didn't look like a Sejuani hug. Poe Belter, great game on his ear. Crucial to the strategy. Oh, they're uh, piling. <laughs> they're getting this whole huddle thing down. Order. <laughs> it's just like a, it's like a phalanx. Nobody yeah. breaks the lines. Yeah. You have power when you rely on those next to you. And they were able to take home the victory. Solid strategy. Everybody kept together. Solid strategy and solid plays. 
Counter Logic Gaming able to, able to stave off a few early game plays from Impulse. And then come out quite strong. Pole Belter holding off in mid. Wasn't having too much fun in the early game against Shao Wei Shao. We saw him actually being able to push and get away from Roams. So he was able to make up for that, which doesn't become easy. Nine, one, and ten Poe Belter as Azir versus LeBlanc and Evelyn. Yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> Just exactly. Whew. Already in the early part of the game, we saw him using his soldiers, so he just didn't push the lane. Staying back. You always want to be able to do damage, but you got to keep that mentality that it's better for the team if you play for them at that time. And he did. The rest of the team was able to work around him and able to work around great initiations from Adrian as well. There were some good hits from Impact and Adrian that the team reorganized under and just came up big for Counter Logic Gaming. Squad seems to have a pretty solid roster coming into the first week of the spring sp or summer split here. Still as well with the option once Huhi comes back to have him in the mid lane if there is any falter. We see that working for a lot of other regions, but not yet in NA that teams will so willingly switch out a mid laner due to a situation, due to a game. Maybe that time will come. Right now, Pole Belter, though, I think it's too, great. Hot, too, hot, <laughs> too hot to happen. Keep this guy in. Hashtag keep Belter. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what happens when who he uh, comes back over from Korea. Figures out those pesky visa issues. It, it may come down to it where it's just kind of mental mentality against the player. Maybe he's better against so or so. Right now, like we said, pole belts are just too strong. Counter Logic Gaming finding some great structure in the first week. It seems that it, we say about it, most teams are faltering now in the early game. A little more than others, others obviously, but still... With what's happening, the mid game is where we are seeing the teams that have been together or have at least played together quite a bit as friends or as team are coming out. Yep, CLG able to stay organized uh, versus Impulse. Just waiting, hopping in, seeing what everybody did for that game. Still seeing impact on Hecarim, Shawe Shaw on LeBlanc. Impulse got the picks that they wanted that game, it seemed. Still had the ash up. They that definitely did. Could have yeah. been a choice coming out through how they wanted to play it, but deciding to go with the Sivir Alistar, every Sivir ultimate was either trying to get the team to something CLG was already doing or backing away from CLG. We saw the first time they prepped up Baron, Impulse was like, all right, we'll walk back down into mid lane if you start to pressure us. That's why Double F said, you know, every team has to keep their eyes on Impulse because they go for those very quick plays yeah. uh, with the Sivir speed boost. You know, Evelyn, invisible jungle collapsing very quickly. They pick high damage, you know, assassin for Shaoi Shao, uh, and you know, they try and snowball those little picks, you know, yeah. catch people off guard, into uh, control of the game. Control of the game, indeed. Right now, we're going to throw it over to Zyrene at the Telestrator to break down CLG's